Now, Chandrayaan-3 created history upon its soft landing, but it's not just over yet. ISRO is hoping that uh, the rover and the lander, Vikram and Pragyan, wake up now that the sun is back on the lunar surface. How is that going to happen? It's expected to happen tomorrow. That maneuver is going to happen tomorrow is what we're learning from ISRO. But what exactly does that mean? My colleague Shrishti explains. A little more observations than it had initially expected to. Uh, countries like the US, uh, China and Russia are going to closely monitor this development because they are planning to set up a lunar base on the moon and uh, it will definitely add to the scientific prowess of ISRO that its spacecraft could endure the long lunar uh, night. Although it is extremely difficult but yes ISRO is uh, testing its uh, capability with, uh, with this exercise. Uh, just to uh, uh, remind our viewers that uh, Chandrayaan-3 has successfully completed all its scientific objectives. It landed on the moon on uh, September, on August 23rd and uh, which was the historic landing of Chandrayaan-3, India's third mission to the moon. It not only did it measure the seismic activity on the moon, it collected a lot of data about the temperature variations, the lunar regolith or the lunar soil, it inserted a probe into the lunar soil then apart from that it detected the elements uh, like sulfur apart from major elements like aluminium and uh, on September 4th it was put into a sleep mode but before doing that ISRO did another uh, little experiment which was called the hop experiment wherein they elevated the spacecraft to a height of about uh, 40 centimeters by firing the engines and then the la lander was made to land about 30 to 40 meter, uh, centimeters away. Uh, during the entire experiment, uh, ISRO again tested its capabilities. It redeployed the uh, ramp and tested whether the payloads are also working at the new site and they were indeed working. So yes, ISRO is uh, time and again testing its capability with the entire Chandrayaan-3 mission which has been access extremely successful so far. Uh, but just again to remind our viewers that the mission life was 14 Earth days. So uh, unlike uh, Russia's Luna 25 which had actually uh, was designed to perform uh, experiments for a period of one Earth year, it had those necessary arrangements on board to withstand or uh, to endure the you know, lunar night. In, in case of ISRO, the, those arrangements are not there, but uh, let's see if ISRO can achieve uh, success in this little experiment and uh, revive the land of Vikram and Pragyan rover once again on September 22nd. That's all we could pack in for you in this edition of Nation at 5, but there's lots lined up for you here on CNN News 18.